here we have a loan. A pretty standard loan by all means, but it's actually a loan on clay. And many loans now are laid on clay. Typical in a lot of new build properties. So there's been some issues. There's been some issues. It goes thin, it goes patchy, it gets very wet and very boggy. And there is a little drain pipe there that runs down. So basically all that wet clay is holding all the water. Every time we get heavy rain, the water is trained to seep down through the clay, but it can't, it can't go anywhere. So it stays wet and it stays boggy. So what are we gonna do about it? Well, we're gonna aerate. We're gonna punch some holes in the ground with the aerator tool. And that will allow a little bit of better drainage. But it won't be perfect because it won't go right down two or three feet beneath the clay but it will make some impact it will make some sense of an improvement and it will be greener now once we've aerated we're going to top dress and we're going to put some compost on and we're going to use a brush and rake the compost in so some of that compost goes down into the holes improving what's in there we get some organic matter in and we're going to put some gypsum into the ground that's horticultural gypsum and gypsum helps to flocculate basically it helps the clay to break up into slightly smaller pieces and as it breaks the air can get in and amongst which basically improves drainage so it's all about making improvements in your soil and if you can do this once or twice a year and over a few years your lawn will be performing a lot better and the organic matter will in time encourage earthworms to come in and just create a better lawn overall. As you can see, plenty of holes across the lawn. So we've got even holes. The machine gives even holes. All spaced equally across the lawn. Now there are some corners where the machine just physically cannot get into. Um, so what we do for that, we use a manual aerator tool like this one. There are many about. I've done a video which explains all the different ones. This is a Lansy one, which is an excellent piece of kit. So we come up to the corner, put it where we want it, and press it in. Pull it out, press it in, and pull it out. It's a great way to air eight without paying for an expensive machine. So the next thing I want to do is actually pick up all of these cores of soil that have been aerated out. And as you can see, it just sticks together into a shape. And you squeeze it and you imagine that lump of clay and the rain is trying to get down through that it struggles it just pulls on top and that is why you get the bogginess now too much water will cause the grass to thin and die off if essentially it's like you're drowning the grass because it needs air rain and nutrients you don't want too much rain you don't want too much nutrients because it can all kill the grass will drain a little better we're not achieving perfect straight down straight through drainage but we are making improvements especially to the top couple of inches what I am going to do is put a little bit of grass seed down just in these corners where it has gone quite thin which doesn't surprise me down at the bottom where all the water runs down and it goes rather thin as you can see so before I chuck a bit of seed down, I'm going to put some horticultural gypsum on. Please follow the guidance with every pack of any product you put on your lawn. All right. There are 
rates and things for application but things like this that take a long time to work um, horticultural gypsum it's not a quick instant fix but if you're doing it once or twice a year you're going to slowly start to improve things so I'm just going to go in the middle of the road on the setting which is number three and I'm just going to go over now and, and spread it over and then we're going to do the seed then we're going to put the top dressing on That's how you do it. So I've got some seed. It's the same sort of process. I'm just going to keep it on the middle setting. Um, turn the handle on the worst bits and just wherever it's thin. So when it comes to getting a top dressing on, I am referring to getting some compost on. Multi-purpose compost. And virtually all multi-purpose compost is good. I have used B&Q's Verve in purple bags. I've used the Grow More bags, which are these, in purple bags. You can get them at lots of places, home bargains, etc. And for the last two years or so, I've been using this stuff here from Field Compost. And it's online. You go to fieldcompost.co.uk and the stuff that I'm using is from field number four. This stuff is really, really good quality. So in terms of applying, there's a couple of ways of, of applying. You can put piles on the lawn. You can empty a bag or just drizzle it across a few spots. Or you can use something like a compost roller, which are these machines here, and it will spread a layer across the lawn. So first thing I want to do is show you how I would apply And for years, this is how I've always done it. Until recent years, getting one of them. Just watch your legs with the Stanley knife, make sure it's retracted. Safety first. And this stuff is pretty good. So you've got a couple of choices. You can just throw it across. And I've done that many times. You can get it and rub it between your hands or you can just get one handful and break it up in your hand. And if you haven't got much, this is the way to do it because you ensure that you've only got a thin layer. But it's better to have a decent layer. Now, the next step, you can drizzle, like so, okay, and if you take your garden broom, it's fairly stiff, and just backwards and forwards. It's working in, it's working down, in and amongst the blades of grass. You don't want it left on top because it smothers the grass and that grass can't breathe and it can't see the sun. So you've got to work it in. So it goes down to soil level and some of it is going to go down the aeration holes, which is what we're wanting. You can also use a rake. Now the other way, just the same, you can dump the whole bag in one pile and then get another bag, create a pile there and a pile there, there, there and there and there and there. And then do the same, get your brake or your brush, break, get your rake or your brush and work it all in. Now, I'm gonna show you the compost roller. It's from Garden Imports, it's the Lanzi compost roller spreader and I've had this a year now when you look after something it will look after you and it makes life easy and just put it where you want to start and just 
start to walk with it. And it will put on a nice layer. It makes the job faster, quicker, and it's far less back breaking as well. So you can spend hours or you can spend minutes. The choice is yours. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna carry on and get the rest of this top dress and we'll have a little chat at the end. have it just a, a simple way of improving the soil if you've got clay soil aerate and get some compost and gypsum in you can also add humic acid on a regular basis and over a couple of years that on its own is going to improve the soil and start changing it into something that's a bit more like regular soil um, it's just little improvements on a regular basis so anyone can do this now, if you've got a lawn leveling loot, it's a lot easier and a lot faster than using a brush. But I've used a brush because most people have got a brush and it's just to show you how it can be done nice and easy. We've got the gypsum in and the gypsum is gonna break up the clay a little bit so that there's more air in and amongst the pieces of clay. And that improves drainage. It allows a little bit more air to get in. Suddenly the, the ground starts to perform a little bit better. And then when we get the compost in, it starts to improve again. It's starting to add nutrients back into the soil. Beneficial fungi. And eventually it will start to um, encourage earthworms to come back into the soil. And they are nature's best lawn aerators. So, even though it looks pretty brown and patchy, in a couple of weeks, you won't even see the compost it would have broken down and done what it needed to do. Now there's a few patches there where it was thin, there and in that corner, and that's where the seed was. So that'll take maybe three weeks, four weeks before that's reasonably back to a, a nice-ish state, depending on how much sunlight we get. So all that's left to say is if you've got any questions, comments, pop them down below. I'm here to help you with your lawn. So that's what I'm here for. Let me help you. Let me help you get your lawn sorted. I would really appreciate a thumbs up um, and feel free to subscribe if you want to. Other than that, please keep coming back and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Catch you again.